Greetings, global Africans on the continent across and across the world. This is King Achu, the Pan African King, the spiritual layer of Africa, of global Africa, and the philosopher king. There is a topic that I wanted to discuss. I've seen this this article several times, but I haven't had a chance to 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 talk about it, to to have a discussion about it. So I'm going to actually have this discussion. And the title of this article reads: Until Africa start practicing their own culture, they will never develop. And that statement was made by the North Korean Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un. He stated that Africa will never develop until they start practicing their own culture. King Kim expressed concern over the way America and the West are tossing Africa about, which is actually true. The West in general, doesn't matter if it's Russia, doesn't matter if it's um, um, France or or Britain or German or German Germans or um, any country, any superpower country in the in the West or the European cont continent, and including the United States, they are tossing Africa left and right like football. You know the ball that people are. The soccer ball that they're playing in football, Africa is that soccer ball where you know the European elites just toss around and play with. That's exactly what they've been doing to the continent of Africa, and that's absolutely true. As a Pan Africanist, I see that. As a as a philosopher king, I see that. As a spiritual leader, I see that. Which is why Africa cannot progress. In order for Africa to progress, we must look at things from the African perspective, from the black man's perspective, and in include our own philosophical ideas, our own African history, an African mindset of African way of thinking, an African culture in order to grow. The reason why we're not growing is because we want to, to use the Western ways, thinking that the Western ways are better than the African way or the black way. I say that is wrong. Until Africans start practicing their own culture, they will never develop. And in this article, it says, I wonder how the whites successfully convince Africans that polygamy is a sin, the gay is a right. I say this because I'm speaking from making this video from the United States in Baltimore. And um, polygamy is it's not accepted in the United States. There was a group of people when the, the formation of the United States was being created. Those were people that believed in the Mormon faith. And practice polygamy. These are whites who practice polygamy. They were beaten and driven out of different towns, different states in the United States, killed for practicing polygamy. It was seen as a sin. But then, where in 2020, and even before 2020, how many times, how often have you seen? Western leaders trying to influence African leaders to legalize polygamy in Africa. What gives them the right to do that? Are they the, the gods of African people? Do the West think that they think and act for us? Do they are they the masters of our faith as Africans? Because they're not. They don't have the right to tell us to legalize gay rights. They don't. But then if they're going to continue to embark on that path 
way on that journey to 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 influence african leaders to legalize homosexuality african leaders must tell the west to legalize polygamy in the west if they can do that well, i bet they wouldn't do it if they can do that then we could see about what they're trying to influence in africa but so long as they want to sit and be the one in power dictating to the African people what is right and what is wrong for the African people, then we must resist to the end, even if they have to wipe us from the planet of the earth. That's just the basic truth. Resistance is the only way forward for the strength of the African people. Africans should learn on how to practice their own religion. That African religion. Not the one that was taken because the Arabs came to Africa and colonized Africa and enslaved Africans and even um, went as far as um, what is the word? Oh uh, when they took the black slaves from Africa, they made sure that the men could not have children by cutting off their penises. So they will work for the rest of their life and they cannot procreate. But if you look across Africa, how many believe in Muslim religion? A religion that was used to enslave Africans. Africans will fight so hard to kill other Africans in the name of Muslim religion. A religion that is not theirs. They will kill their own brothers who are Christians. Just to practice a faith that was used to colonize them. Just the same thing as Christians. Who who used the faith of Christianity as a religion that was used to colonize Africans, the, the minds of African people, to, ens to enslave the minds of African people so they can control African people, being it Christianity or, or Muslim. They used that religion to control African people so that they could obtain what they want. The, the, the Arabs can obtain what they want from Africa. And the Christian, the West could obtain what they want from Africa. And the people of Africa continue to suffer and ask, why are we suffering when we have so much resources? That's because you have been doctrined or indoctrinated to think differently to think that your way of thinking is wrong and their way of thinking is right so africans have become subservient to the religion that were used to colonize them so we in order for africa to grow we must question the religion that we practice it's muslim religion for african people it's Christian religion for African people because they are not. Those are religions that were used to colonize African minds and African people. And for years and years, Africa cannot progress. Until the day Africans will start practicing their own culture, they will never develop. Our culture, the African, look at all the religions across the world. The Christianity, you, you have Christ, a white person. If you go to the East, you have the, you have um, Allah. You also have um, different types of um, religion in across China and um which represents their way of life, their way of thinking. In order for Africa to grow, they must see the world for what it is and use their philosophy and use their own 
religion and their own way of thinking, a way of being African people, and then find create a pathway that would lead to the strengthening of black minds and black people, being it philosophical or being it religious. But it cannot be Christian and Muslim thinking that you are an African. How can you be an African by watching or worshipping somebody else's religion that was used to enslave you? Africa must, must change. And then there's another aspect of, of this that I forgot to mention. Africa has 54 countries. And in that 54 countries, we speak English, which is not our language. And I'm speaking in English. It's not our language. You speak in French. You have the French African, the French African nations. You have the British African nation, or the English or the Anglophone nations. You also have the Portuguese, the Spanish. But for Africa to grow, we need that language that will unify the 54 countries. It's going to be 55 when Southern Cameroon becomes Ambazonia and has its independence. So it will be 55 very soon. That 55, I'll go with 55, 55 states, including Southern Cameroon and Ambazonia, will have a common language that must unify. And so far, many leaders across Africa has been talking about Swahili. The language that will unify African people. Instead of using English to speak in the United uh, to speak in the African Union, we now speak in Swahili. That will be great when that is passed down to the next generation. Instead of speaking in in, in, in French, you speak in Swahili. Instead of speaking in Spanish, you speak in Swahili. As Africans, that, that is a great unification that will spring the growth of African people in, on the continent and across the world. But in order to do that, we have more work to do. French African nations must must. French African nation must take the slave chain away from France because France, the slave master, is still controlling the nations, the French African nations in Africa. So the citizens must rise against that. It must be a movement. To knock down all type of colonization, neocolonization, all type of system that has been used in place, including religion. That has been put in place to control the mindset of the African people in order for Africa to grow and regain true sovereignty, true independence, which will include economic independence. But when the minds of African people are not speaking for African people, they are not speaking pan-Africanism, global pan-Africanism for black people, then Africa will never grow. Africa will truly never grow. We will always face with what we are facing, why others will benefit from the resources of Africa. This is King Ejo, the Pan-African king, the philosopher king, the spiritual leader. Till next time.